let's solve next question of RA. So it is from 2014 set 1. It is a 2-mark question. So let's read the question. Consider the following C function in which the number of element in the RA E. So here is a C function. So now it is asking the value returned by the function my x is the then four options are given. So this here is the my x function. So it is a RA actually. So E is a RA and uh, size that is the RA size. So now just take an example like uh, so just take a one example so like here let the r value is minus 1 then 2 then 3 okay and uh, indexing that let uh, 0 1 2 so r index so initially y value is 0 and uh, z z letter assign 0 so here next is i j k that is 3 variable so now for i equal to 0 i less than size so here let size is 3. So as in array I have taken uh, 3 values. So size I am taking as a 3. So i less than size. Yes initial i 0, 0 less than size. Then i plus plus. So y equal to y plus e i. So initial y was 0. So now 0 plus e of 0. So that will be uh, minus 1. Okay. Next time i value will be 1. So, and y will be y plus e of 1. So, minus 1 plus 2. So, it will be 1. So, next time uh, i value will be 2. And y value will be uh, y plus e of 2. So, that is 1 plus 3. So, it will be 4. Okay. Now, finally, y value is 4. So, now next loop go to. So, what y is returning? So, y it calculate the sum of element of the array E and store in Y. So, it will just add all the array and store in Y. So, next we will just do the Z part. So, Z it calculate the sum of all possible sub array starting from 0. So, let's just uh, try to run this. So, let I equal to 0. Then uh, Z equal to I means Z is equal to 0. And Z less than size. So, Z in, uh, is 0. And Z less, less than size. Then for, for K equal to I. So, K will be 0. Then K less than equal to Z. So, first it will just add 0. And Z value will be z plus ek so initially z value will be minus 1 then again it will just go and z value can be here less than size means it can be 0 1 and 2 so next it will add k uh, k value is 0 and k less than equal to z so it will 0 and 1 so it will next time z value will be 1 next time z value will be so it will just add 1 and 3 so it will be 4 so, when i equal to 0, z value is 4. So, next try to run i equal to 1. So, when i equal to 1, then z value will be, so z value is i, so j value is i and j less than size, so means j will be 1 and 2 and k value will be initially 1, 1 and it will add just 1, so z will be 2 and next time k value will be, next time j value will be 2. So, k will be, it will add just 1 and 2. So, it will be 2 plus 3, 5. Just see here, and another sentence is given, if z is greater than y. So, now when i value is 1, z value is 5. So, now this is greater than y, so y equal to z. So, now here y value will update with, so y will update with z. So, again in the same way, you can run for i equal to 2. Like this, I just took a small example of three uh, three sides. So you can take any size and then you can uh, just check. So now what it is doing? So the loop will iterate for all element of the RE and for every element calculate sum of all sub array starting with EI. So store the current value in Z. So, if z is greater than y, then update y and return i. So, now in this case, z is greater than y. So, and so it return the maximum possible sum of element in any subarray of element E. So, here answer is A.
so what it is doing it is just adding all the maximum possible uh, sum of all the possible sub array and uh, if any sub array sum is greater than the total sum that it will read. so answer is a